The Zimbabwean government has now admitted that schools are in fact COVID-19 super spreaders. That's interesting. However, it says they will not be closed. Schools reopened three weeks ago after a three-month shutdown during the third wave. But here's ENC correspondent Pindai Duba who brings us details to the story. Zimbabwe is currently experiencing a decrease in COVID-19 deaths and infections after the third wave which ravaged the country media. The country now has more than 129,000 COVID-19 cases and over 4,600 deaths since the first case was recorded in March 2020. The education sector contributed significantly to this increase. And then furthermore, most cases among learners are asymptomatic or actually have, no, have only mild symptoms. Accordingly, cabinet resolved that schools will remain open and learners who are isolated will be provided with alternative learning platforms. Public health activists are in agreement but they have called on government to provide enough support like PPEs for vulnerable schools. Uh, I think uh, our options of uh, closing the schools are at the moment very limited. Uh, I think uh, for the fairness uh, of uh, those students who come from poor backgrounds, you know, learning in these uh, public schools, I think it would be fair uh, for them also to be in school so that they also benefit and, and they don't continue to lose out you know on the you know uh, learning periods Zimbabwe is one of the most vaccinated countries in Africa over 3 million people have received their first jab while over 2 million have received both doses of Chinese Sinopharm and Sinovac vaccines Pindai Duwe Harare Zimbabwe